Hey my friends, it's an exciting day today because we are starting our new ordering system. Every piece of jewelry is going to have a number. So no more timestamps, no more of that. All you'll have to tell me is the video's title or the date it was put out, which should be right below the video, um, wherever you're watching. Tell me the numbers of the items you want and your name and address for shipping. And if you want to pay with PayPal or a credit card, and that's all you need to do. Um, there is a sold list in the comments section. The top comment will always be the sold list. And it will tell you if your items have already been sold that you're interested in. Um, I'm super excited about this. And I did order some nice plastic numbers. So they last forever for us, but they're not here yet. It was so cool. I found some that have like this um, whitewash board on it. I was like, oh my gosh, they match. Um, so I wanted to tell you that, and then I wanted to tell you that most shipping right now, um, that's going out under a pound, um, which is mostly what I ship is $4 and 50 cents to $6 and 75 cents. It's very low. So don't be afraid to order. Also, if you want to shop all week through the videos, you can definitely do that. What I will do is bill you each time you shop for the items. And then when you're ready for your box to ship, I'll bill you for shipping. So I don't mind doing that at all. So you can combine and get a better deal. And lastly, I want to let you know that I definitely will ship internationally. So don't worry about that. Okay, we are going to continue on with our vintage extravaganza. I had said that we were going to, um, you know, alternate with some things that um, with lower uh, price values. But then I realized watching the video that really there's price points for everybody in there. So um, we're just going to continue on this way. And I think this, this number system is going to be awesome. So let's try. <laughs> okay, so we have a rhinestone brooch on top. Oh boy, come on, buddy. I should have used a bigger bag. There we go. It is a V shape. It is vintage. It is an inch and three quarter here. A little bit of wear on the pin bar. And I can do this one for $10. So this is item number one. And what I'm gonna do on my end is put it right on the card and then out and its bag. So the bag stays with it. And then after the show, I'll bag it. And I have these cute little clothespins. Do I have them right here? No. Cute little baby clothespins with numbers on them. And I bought um, what they call a lingerie cabinet. It's a bureau that's narrow and tall. And so each day with, when I'm done my video, my bags will go in with my little clothespins on them. And I think it's going to make my life so much easier too because I spend a lot of time searching through jewelry. And I'm not even that big yet. So anyway. Look at the awesome AB finish on this, you guys. It is gorgeous. Gold tone, inch and three quarter. And this one I have to do for 18. 18. Okay. And this gorgeous baby is number two. And please bear with me as I'm starting with these numbers because I might mess up. But I will try very hard not to. <laughs> okay. And we've got this cute rhinestone moon brooch. Look at that. Or I guess it could kind of be like a wreath too, right? It almost looks like a necklace, like a collar necklace. <laughs> That's really cool. Um, it's an inch and three quarter wide this way, or tall if you wear it this way. Um, and I can do this one for $8. Really pretty, not signed. And this guy is number three. Okay, next. Okay, I have a malachite bracelet. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do all stone jewelry in a different video. Maybe I should pull stone stuff. Eh, we'll do it today and then I'll I'll pull everything else. I forgot about that. We'll do this one. Okay, so this is a seven and a half inch malachite bracelet. Um, the balls are about, I know you usually measure these in millimeters, but we'll do them in um, inches. About a quarter inch, okay? A quarter inch. Um, a barrel clasp, seven and a half inch bracelet, $15. Gorgeous malachite. And this is number four. Okay. And next, I'm going to set that to the side. Okay, let's do this guy. So I was working on this jewelry all yesterday and today, getting it, um, you know, the stuff that my mom hadn't, hadn't done for me yet and um getting it ready and everything and um okay I don't know what I was gonna say <laughs> oh 
Oh my gosh. All right, gold tone brooch. <laughs> Flower shape, two inches from here to here. And um, we can do this one for $5. $5. What the heck was I going to say? Look at that. $5, number five. <laughs> I really don't know what I was going to say. It was something I think that was important. I don't know. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, here we go. Now we have this beautiful swag brooch. It's BSK. All the little stonies are there. It looks like maybe this guy was replaced because he's pretty sparkly compared to the others. I think he probably was. Do you see that? It's hard to see it though. It's up on the top. It's beautiful. Um, there's the BSK signature. Gold tone. It's an older guy. He's two and three quarter inches wide this wide, this way, excuse me. And I can do this one for nine dollars. And it's number six. Okay. Okay. And we're gonna save that. I totally forgot about my stone jewelry. I'll do a I'll do a garnet bracelet for you though. Let's do that. So this bracelet is garnet. And the other reason I want to do it is because I want to use my gem tester. <laughs> Um, I have it set up. Um, it has um, a clasp, a spring clasp. So it is vintage. It is garnet. These, um, I can't remember if they're magnetic or not. Where's my magnet? Um, okay. Oh, I see my magnet, guys. I thought I took everything down that I would need, but I missed the magnet. I can't remember if these were magnetic or not. They kind of seem that way. That's going to be because the, there's a spring inside of there that's magnetic. Oh, yeah, that part is. I'm going to guess that these probably are not gold in there, just gold tone. And why don't we check it on the Presidium Gem Tester and see for sure. Okay, here you go, guys. And if you look, Garnet is right here on this first line right here. So let's see where we get to. I'm gonna let you guys see this and I'm gonna hold this where I can see it myself. Definitely garnet. Garnet and gorgeous. Garnet and gorgeous. Check it out. Okay, and I'm gonna do this one for $12, you guys, and it's a seven inch. And look at this coincidence again. Seven inch, seven, number seven. Okay. So I have this table next to me that I'm putting the, the these cards down and then the stuff on top of it. Okay, let's see this. This is really pretty, guys. It's a wood wooden brooch with um, like a painted piece on it. I'm trying to see if that's a uh, transfer. It kind of does look like transfer. Hold on, let me look with my loop. So the way that you can tell if something is transfer and not hand painted is if you look at it with your loop, let's see if we can see it. If you look at it under magnification, you can see that there's all little dots making it. Do you see that? And all those little dots means it was transferred on. It was not hand painted. And sometimes you'll find pieces where parts of it are hand painted and part not, and they'll call it hand painted and they get away with it. <laughs> um, so anyway, that means it's transfer, guys. Okay. This guy is two inches tall, and it's got a nice, I believe this is real wood. It's nicely finished, and this one is $7, $7, and what kind of flowers? Maybe an orchid, maybe, I think maybe, and number eight, number eight. So I wanted to do this number system because I know for me, technology and figuring things out um, is sometimes daunting for me and I know that's the case for other people too and sometimes saying I'm killing time while I'm looking through here pulling out stones <laughs> sometimes saying to someone you have to find a time stamp you have to do this you have to do that seems like a big undertaking and it might be something that they're not comfortable with so I'm hoping these numbers are like oh yeah I can do this and if you're ever trying to order and you're having a hard time Shoot me an email, you guys. It's always in the description. I forgot to mention that. It's my mama, M O M M A, and me, all spelled out, at outlook.com. 
This is two and three quarter inches tall. I did find this online and somebody was calling it Juliana style, which definitely Juliana made brooches similar to the style. This is not a Juliana brooch. Um, and we'll talk about that why later, but I'll give you a hint. Juliana never, from what I've learned, <laughs> um, never applied their pins this way. They were built into the piece. Meaning, let me see if I have one that I can show you. This is not Juliana either, but do you see how the pin is built into the piece instead of an extra piece that's applied? That's how Juliana did their brooches. Um, still, this is a gorgeous vintage rhinestone brooch, um, well made, and Juliana style, um, they're probably saying that because of these open back um, bezels to hold um, these stones, so you get serious um, light through them. Sorry, I couldn't think. So this is two and three quarter inches long, and this one is going to be $35, guys. $35, and it is number nine. $35, and she is stunning. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to get under the stones. I had just done the stone pieces. I totally forgot. Actually, I'm gonna show this guy because I really wanna test this one too. <laughs> this is um, a garnet piece, but I wanna test all the pieces of it. And I think it is probably very old. Um, I can't guarantee that, but I think it probably is. It has a little bit of stretch to it. Okay, um, right now I have it measured at six and three quarters, but I was using my tape measure, so let's double check. Um, I think you could definitely get a seven in here for sure, guys, because the stretch just went way down my mandrel. Maybe even a seven and a half. Um, it's really, really pretty. Uh, let's check the different parts of it, though. Let's make sure all of it's garnet. Oops, that was my notes on what to tell you. Okay, well, let's see. So you guys look at that garnet line again, and I'm gonna test these little like um, bugle bead style beads first. Let's see if they're garnet. Oh, I'm slipping off, hold on. Huh, oh boy, you can't see because my thing here. Hold on, it's on a different side than my um, other setup. I was wondering about these little beads, if they could possibly be garnet, and I think they are not. Okay, so let's figure out exactly, yeah, they're not. Let's figure out what exactly is garnet on here. Um, I'm starting to think it is not garnet and it's just beaded, which is beautiful too, don't get me wrong, but uh-oh, my probe just like got stuck in. That's not good. What just happened? Uh-oh, I got problems, guys. Okay, it's back. Sorry about that squeaking. I don't know what's going on. All right, hold on one second. Let me just do this guy. Oh, my probe is not, is falling apart. Look at it's separating. No! I got the warranty on it. Um, oh boy. Okay, now it feels like it over tightened. Okay, sorry. Back to what we're doing here. Okay guys, guess what? It is not garnet. I am so thankful to have this. It is just beaded um, and it is still gorgeous. Still gorgeous. If anybody's interested in this, shoot me an email, okay? Cause now I'm, I'm off my game a little bit. So I honestly was thinking that might be the case cause these were all beads and I was thinking that they couldn't make this of garnet. Like I wasn't sure how they would do that. Um, oh, maybe these are right here. Okay, hold on. We're going to check one more thing. I'm a little worried about my uh, probe here. Oh my goodness. These are hard to stay on. I feel like we just got to know though. Okay. All right. So a very small part of this is garnet. Um, these round beads here, here, here. Well, it's not very small, I guess. Here, 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 here and here, here and here, <laughs> and here. Okay, so that's everything that's garnet and these guys here around, um, which ones are circles? Just these round ones here. Okay, 
So um, I'm still gonna ask 25 for this because there is a good amount now that is garnet. I'm glad that we figured that out together. That was fun. Okay, and the half garnet bracelet, $10. And it is stunning, guys. Um, okay, next. Oh, this lady's pretty cool. Wait till you see her. Look at this vintage brooch. I think this could possibly be Victorian. Error, uh, era because of this hook um, I'm pretty sure and also how it's made um, you can see some of the soldering and things she's really cool um, let's see and she is two inches this way and two and a half inches this way and should we see if those stones are anything let's do it um, here's the gem tester for you guys to see. I'm going off camera a little bit. Okay, guys, I think they are just some kind of like acrylic-y, plastic -y. Okay, no problem. And who knows? I mean, this has probably been kicking around a long time. Someone might have changed those at one point. I have no clue. It's just really pretty, though. Look at the, like, light picking up on the things on her dress. Isn't that cool? Okay, $20. And this is number 11. Number 11. Okay. I'm trying to get something besides a brooch. We've done brooches and bracelets. Brooches and bracelets. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, we have a set. Okay, guys. So, I learned a word, and you probably all know the word, and you're going to be like, no kidding, Joy. <laughs> Um, but the word is, I don't know how it's pronounced exactly. So it's P-A-R-U-R-E. Par, par, I'm not sure. If you guys know the pronunciation, please put it in the description because I would love to know. So that is a set, a set of jewelry, meaning matching set. Um, I don't know if it more specifically would be earrings, bracelet, and necklace, or if there are rules about that. And I guess, um... That word means um, the set is fit for a queen. So it's kind of interesting. Okay, I have wear here. So first thing we're going to do is it's a 16 inch total length. Um, the earrings are an inch and a quarter. They are clippies and they are coro. Uh, and you can see, I think this is labeled. Let me see. No, this is not labeled coro. Um, but I believe this is the coro dangle and there is a little bit of wear to this guy not a ton let me show you up close it's got wear on the back where the pieces come together that like typical wear spot okay and um if you look at the front side it looks really good and this is thermoset plastic um, which basically is just a molded plastic and the earrings um, match in the different colors tiny bit of probably just needs a little cleaning or buffing right there can you guys see that I don't think um, I don't think it's a problem it honestly looks like a hairspray spot really nice okay so this set right here we are going to do for $20 and it's number 12 okay for the coral set $20 and we're gonna keep her together I have a bunch of sets and I'm gonna keep them together for this part I think okay let's see I would like to get something besides a brooch please could we have something else I know we all love brooches but it's fun to see other things don't you think oh boy I just got some okay so a power. <laughs> I feel so weird saying that. I oh, know I'm not saying it right. Par your par your. I don't know. Somebody give me a pronunciation. I would appreciate it greatly. So I stopped sounding foolish. Check out this necklace. Another thermoset plastic, molded plastic. It's very pretty. I believe this one is not signed. Um, there is some wear on this, but it's lighter wear than the last one. Um, just a little bit like there's a little right there it's hard where the spots move that's where there's always wear the front side looks gorgeous it's 
kind of like a centipede, isn't it? <laughs> okay, and let's see, is there anywhere here? Mm, not too bad. I think we're pretty good. Okay, so let's get the infos. This is a 16 inch total length and we are going to do $13 and look at this, it matched up again. Number 13. $13, number 13. Okay, so um, this piece I just found <clears throat> the earrings to match that, so I'm gonna set that one aside. Sorry guys, I'm clearing my throat here. All right, let's check out this vintage necklace. Gold tune. Check her out. Let's start down here. A little dog glitter. Sorry about that. Uh, gold tone. Kind of like a swirly leaf. Very nice. Okay, we've got the hook end. Uh, pretty good shape. This one has a total length of 18 inches. This one's a little bit bigger, which is nice. Um, is that wear right there? I just want to look over the top. Yes, a tiny bit of wear right there, but I think that is the only place that I saw wear on this whole necklace. And it is on the underside. And it's a little bigger, which is a nice thing. <clears throat> 18 inch total length. And we're gonna do it for $15. And this beauty is number 14. Number 14. Okay. All right, let's see what's next. Oh, we have another necklace. Now I want something besides necklaces. Never happy. <laughs> All right, this is another thermoset plastic. Check that out. It's almost, um, is this called Moon Glow, guys? I think it is. I think this is the Moon Glow plastic. Um... It's really cool, silver tone, and it comes down to a ball. This one is not signed. It probably had a tag at one point. It looks like this might have been re-glued, but it's not terrible. Um, I believe this one's not signed. Am I making that up? Not signed. This one has a 15 inch total length, and we're gonna do $15 on it. And it is number 15. Isn't that funny how that keeps happening? <laughs> Okay, oops, I messed my numbers up, guys. Can you give me three seconds? Because I already made a little error. <laughs> I didn't finish my row over there. Okay. Okay, I'm good, I'm good. I told you, give me a little bit of grace for the first day with the number system, I appreciate it. Okay, another thermoset plastic and another that I believe is called Moon Glow. Again, we'll wait for confirmation. You guys check the comments too. Someone will give us confirmation. I did not look up. There is a website all about jewelry dangles. <laughs> Vintage jewelry dangles. I did not look up this dangle. Ooh, is there a word in there? Huh, you guys, <laughs> it's very tricky. It looks like it could be a word. Let me just peek for one second. Uh, nope, it's just scratches. It was a tricker. Okay, so you got a tiny bit of wear here, guys, on the chain. Um, I don't think it's horrible, but it's there. Okay, you can definitely see it. And here's the front. Gorgeous collar necklace. Again, the thermoset plastic, and here's the wear on the chain. And this hook definitely has some wear. Okay, now let's look at the back side. Let's look at the junctures. How bad are the junctions? Uh, there's definitely some wear in the junctions. Can you see them? Let's see. Let's see if I can show you one up close. There, see that little wear there? All right, so that's what you got going on. Let's see what the info is on this one. Total length, 16 and a half inches. And wear on chain, I already told you guys that. And it is $15, $15, number 16. Gorgeousness. Okay. You guys wanna do one more thermoset plastic necklace? Let's do it. So there's this other thermoset necklace that I set aside that 
I'm wondering if it could be Bakelite. I don't know what the era of Bakelite and these necklaces are, if they overlap or not. I would definitely, huh, you guys. Don't those earrings look like they go with this more? Look at this. Kind of. Hmm, interesting. Okay, I'm not sure. And this one is not marked. It is this little dangle here. Um, the chain is in pretty good shape. Some little wear. Uh, let's do the front. The front is gorgeous and I'm not seeing any missing rhinestones. A little bit of wear right here. Do you see that guys? Chain has a tiny bit of wear, not bad. It's, you know, this is vintage jewelry condition, I would say, this guy, because the wear is minor. A little bit right there. Okay. So let's get the info. It is a total length of 16 and a half inches, and we are going to do $15. It's number 17. And if you wanted to buy also number 12 that we looked at, they are the same colors. You could have some... Uh, earrings that went with both sets for sure okay this is a really nice set guys this is an older crown trafari and it is really really pretty it is a brooch which reminds me of like a peach or an apple it dips can you guys see it it dips and then loops around and it has rhinestones and they are sparkling still which is awesome um the crown trafari label Oof, come on. Is, am I lying? Is it not crowned fry? No, it is. It's right here. <laughs> crowned fry. There you go. See the little crown above the T? That's crowned fry. Um, and this brooch is an inch and three quarter wide. And then there's matching earrings that are one inch. Like, let's see. Let's pull them like they'd go on your ears. I think they would probably go this way. Gorgeous. Aren't they pretty? And these are marked also. There you go. Uh, and this set we're going to do for $20. $20 on the Vintage Crown Trafari. Oh, I forgot to give you a number. Number 18, $20. Okay. So I think my desk, my table is going to be big enough to hold everything. I was a little worried about that. Okay, so I have some Trafari earrings, not crown. They are enamel. They're an inch and a quarter long. They are post and they are labeled right there. So they would look something like that. And the enamel's in good shape and it is um, an ivory color. I'm just seeing if that's just something that would come off. Yes, it comes off. Okay. And these guys are gonna be $6. And number 19, $6 gorgeousness okay uh we got another brooch went back to brooches we had a little break <laughs> a little brooch break a bb that's what we call our dog a lot bryn bb she's bryn brown <laughs> um this is really pretty it's an inch and three quarter it's a wreath it has these gorgeous little um holy cow i totally know what those are I have them in my ring. I know what they are. I just cannot think of it right now. Okay, as soon as I turn off the uh, video, I will know. <laughs> oh, and that thing I couldn't think of the other day, it's Art Nouveau. Somebody helped me in the comments and I really appreciate you. And all that's coming to my head right now is Marcosites. Let me look at my ring and see if I remember. Mm, no. <laughs> this is really pretty, you guys. Um, and this one is going to be $18 and it's number 20. Number 20. <laughs> that's driving me nuts oh are they baguettes yes I think they're baguettes baguettes those um these guys right here I think they're called baguettes <laughs> that stone looks weird looks different okay anyway sorry sidetracked okay oh Bryn just came for a visit hi Bryn almost working <laughs> okay these are crown trafari earrings um, they have some light wear on them just from the scratching on the gold tone. They might be able to be polished up though. Um, and 
Uh, let's see, can you see that? They are marked Crown Trafari. And let's see, how they, would they go on your ears? I think like so. Pretty, huh? Those are gorgeous. Okay, they are, how tall? They are an inch and a quarter tall. The rhinestones are all there. And $10 on these, and they're number 21. Do you feel like this is going too slow the way I'm doing it now? Or do you think it's gonna be better? Tell me, tell me what you think of the new system and if it's a good thumbs up or if it's a bad thumbs down. I think if you're buying, it's gonna be good. If you're just watching, which is also wonderful. If you're just watching or anybody, if you could like, comment and subscribe, I would appreciate it greatly. Um, it might be a little bit longer if you're just watching, so. Okay, let's see. This is Coro. It is marked right there, and the earrings are marked. And this is enamel, um, and it is so pretty, you guys. And I love that they did this, like almost a rosary style chain. Well, it is a rosary style chain, not almost. Um, and the total length on the necklace is 17 inches, and the earrings are an inch long. And I'm checking for rhinestones, look good. Let's see, a little wear on the back, not terrible. And this one is signed and it looks like this one is not. And I, they would sit on your ears like this. And it's pinks and peaches, guys. You know, the peach, honestly, this looks different than this and they're very close to the same color. It's not very peachy, it's pretty pink. Let's start at the end and look down. Gorgeous, looking for rhinestones. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Awesome, and wear on the back. Looks good to me, just a little light scratching. Okay, gorgeous, and what are we charging for this one? $20, that's a bargain. $20 for the beautiful Coral set, number 22. Okay, let's see what's next. Um, I was putting away the stone, but let's look at this bracelet. It's amazing. It has like serious weight to it. <laughs> um, it is malachite inlay and look at it. Oh my gosh, it's stunning. Look at those circles in there. So cool. It's a malachite inlay into a brass. Isn't that cool? Wow. I, I really love this. And it has some weight to it because of the stone. Let's check in on this because I didn't measure. It is a seven and three quarter. Oh, could I even get that on? Almost. Mm, I'm not gonna risk it. <laughs> and we'll do the Malachi bracelet at 15 and it's number 23. Okay. All right, let's see what else we've got here. Um. Oh, this one's interesting. Let's talk about this. I learned something today. Uh, and I will pass on what I learned to you. I learned it from the internet. And you should believe everything on the internet. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but I think this is probably reputable. This clasp. You guys know what that's called? Uh, it's called a trombone clasp. And the reason is because it slides like a trombone. Do you see that little piece down the bottom? It slides in and out. And what it's doing is putting another piece, see, to make it thicker so it will stay in place. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I think that's so fun. Um, okay, so that's a trombone class. Now I feel like there might be writing on that. They like to hide writing, guys, so always look in weird spots. Um, nope. Okay. So what I learned is that they started making this trombone kind of clasp in the 1890s, but it was super popular in the 1940s. So I'm gonna guess this is probably from the 1940s. Again, it's a guess. Um, and it's two inches wide and it's $15, $15. And it's number 24. I have two, <laughs> 24. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see what else we've got. What are you doing, Bryn? Don't be naughty, please. Oh, I'll show you this. It's stone, but that's okay. It's tiger's eye. I love tiger's eye. Anybody else love tiger's eye like I do? Um, it's an elephant, a tiger's eye elephant. Isn't that so cute? And this is like gold tone 
uh, metal like on top of the tiger's eye with a rhinestone eye. And it is an inch wide right here. Gorgeous little pendant. I probably could put it on a gold tone chain. I would just have to come up with that. <laughs> if you need that, say it in your email and I will um, try to make that happen. $15 for this guy. And number 25. <laughs> I wish I could show you Bren, but I'd have to show you the mess I've got going in here working on my changing the room around. <laughs> but she looks cute. Okay. This guy is really neat, you guys. Oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you something. I'll tell you in one second. Isn't that cool? Look at the little flower basket. Let's see, I'm just gonna test this fast, guys, and see if these are glass. Hopefully we don't beep, because then Bryn will bark. I think they are glass, but honestly, something's up with my probe and I don't know if it's working properly. Um, let me try again. They're moving a little. Oh my goodness, stay on, Julie. Yeah, they are moving a little bit and they're cool. So probably glass stones here, guys. Uh, it has a gold tone chain with that clasp. And the necklace ha is an eight and a half inch drop from here to here. And the pendant itself is two and a quarter inches tall. Sorry about that. And we're going to do $17 on this one. $17. And it's number 26. Okay, so I forgot to tell your news that I'm, my news that I'm so excited about. So Kristen D, which many of you will probably know because I bet a lot of you came here because of Kristen D. Um, if you don't know Kristen D, go check her out. She's on YouTube. Kristen D, Another Chance Resale. She's wonderful. Um, she and I are going to do an auction together, a live auction on YouTube. It's going to be on, I think it's a Thursday, January 19th. Thursday, January 19th. So it's going to be on her channel and I'm so excited for it. I hope you guys all come. It will be so fun. I've been setting aside treasures uh, for the auction. <sighs> anyway, I'm really excited about it. And I'm so thankful for her to um, be doing that with me. And this is signed. Did I know this was signed? Yes, I did. It's Crown Trafari. It has a nine and a half inch drop. It is the symbol for Libra. The scales, the balancing scales. And it is carved um, into that. I don't know if that's glass or acrylic, honestly. Um, nine and a half inch drop on the chain and the pendant is two inches tall. And we can do this one for 15 for the Libra. Number 27. Okay. Let's see, we gotta get a few more pieces on. We're getting close to time. Let's see. How about this necklace? This is pretty. You guys want to do another necklace? Now we're necklace heavy. <laughs> okay. Got a necklace here. Isn't it cool? Leaves and faux pearl. And it's another collar style with the links. Leaves and faux pearls. And we've got the hook. And the hook has a name on it. And it is Trafari. So I'm guessing this didn't have its little crown. Let's see. I guess it does not have its little crown. So not crown trafari. And it is 15 and a half inches total length. I didn't show you the back side. Let's do that. A little bit of wear. Not terrible, you guys. Okay. And we are going to do this one for $18. And it's number 28. Okay, look at this gorgeousness. Isn't that pretty? Oh, so pretty. Awesome for Christmas, huh? Looks like a poinsettia. And this awesome chain. Does this have a name? I should have looked it up. It's gorgeous. Spring ring clasp. Um, it has a drop of seven and a half inches. Remember, you can add extenders if it's a little short. The pendant is an inch and a half long. And we're going to do this one for 16 $16. And I don't believe it is signed. Number 29. Okay. 
So you guys, I'm going to end now just because it sounds like the doggies are getting crazy and I had the door open so Bryn could go in and out and that could make it a nightmare for us in here. <laughs> so um, I just realized I did not think of a question. So my question is going to be about how we're doing this number system. If you think it's a good idea, bad idea, it makes things too slow, let me know what you're thinking. I'd appreciate your feedback on that. So remember, guys, you can be anything you want in this world. So please choose to be kind. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks. Bye.